In today's video, we're going to go through a five minute stretching routine for those of you who have a stiff lower back. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara, I'm a neurologic physical therapist. And on this channel, we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset in the context of neurologic injury with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your rehab and your health, to live an overall more active, more mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. Now, before we dive in, these are just general exercises and you should not start any type of a stretching routine, especially for the low back if you've had any back surgeries, history of back injuries, or osteoporosis. If that is you, you would definitely want to get checked out by your medical team first to make sure that any stretches you add are appropriate for you. But now let's go ahead and dive into the stretching routine. So for each kind of stretching position, I'm going to give an easier variation and then a more challenging variation. Assess your abilities and your mobility and choose the one that's the most appropriate for you. But for this one, I would consider this like an easier variation of just a low back stretch. I'm just going to place your hands on that gym ball and just roll forward and you want to hold that for one minute and roll back. All right, this is just a resistance band. I have it attached to a wall anchor, very similar to this wall anchor right here. And basically you're just gonna hook it on the wall. St you're gonna, probably gonna have to stand up to grab it, then sit down, and then you're just gonna kind of chalk your hands up on that band as much as you need to to get a nice, good stretch just allowing that band to kind of pull forward. All right, and then you're just gonna put it onto one hand and just allow that band to pull forward. Now, what this is really targeting is the big latissimus muscle on the back side. That muscle back there is what brings our hand, our arm back in this direction and kind of extends the spine. So a lot of times that's tight on people and can contribute to some low back, that feeling of like kind of low back stiffness. So I love, love, love this stretch, just really stretching that latissimus, allowing that band to just pull forward. And if you can, try and do it on both sides. Again, just allowing that band to just really pull forward. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing again with your leg crossed over. There's This is targeting more of those hip rotators. So our hip rotators kind of on the outside of our hip, if those become tight, those can also kind of pull on the pelvis a little bit and create some stiffness in the low back. So just another variation. You can hold on to the, the band to kind of give you a little bit of that pull forward, or you can just lean forward. Either way, you're going to feel a pretty good stretch. This one, you're probably going to feel that stretch more down in your hip. And then you're going to want to do that on both sides. And just lean forward as much as you can. And hold it for one minute. All right, so this is very similar to what we did in sitting. Now we're just doing it standing up. You can use your body weight a little bit more in this position and kind of sit your hips back. So again, I'm going to grab the resistance band, allow it to kind of pull my arms forward, and then I'm just kind of sitting my butt back. Again, really targeting those lats again, like I mentioned earlier. And just a nice stretch for that lower back. All right, and then this is child's pose. I'm putting this in kind of the advanced category because I know there's a lot of you that um, can't get on your knees. So that's why I would consider this one kind of an advanced position. But you're just going to sit back on your heels, reach off to one side, and then reach off to the other side, and then all the way out to the front. 
and hold that for one minute. All right, now this stretch, you really don't feel like you're doing a ton, but it's just kind of really elongating that spine, almost putting a little bit of traction on it. And you basically just lay on a gym ball. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this on a table because you might fall off. I'm just doing it because of how my camera's set up. So just do this on the floor. All right, just to be safe. And then again, you're just going to kind of let your knees float and then just kind of just rock a little bit forward and backward and just kind of let that spine just kind of elongate. All right, now this is a product, something called the Core Stretch, which has absolutely been a game changer for me. A lot of times it just feels so good to get a little bit of kind of traction through that spine. The way this, this thing is designed, you've got these little pads that kind of go right in the crux of your hip. And then this bar extends to different lengths. And then when you lean forward, it just really elongates that back. Again, I love, love, love this. I've been using it almost every day myself. It just feels so good. And then if you wanted to advance it a little bit, you can cross that leg over and really stretch, kind of leaning to the side. Leaning to the other side, really elongating that spine. Same thing on the other side. And then just lean forward. And again, you want to hold that for one minute. You will definitely feel that all through your hip. Again, this is the core max. There will be a link for this in the description below. If you click on that link in the description below, we do receive a small commission and we really appreciate your support. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so that you will get notified every time I upload new videos. I enjoyed spending time with you all today and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.